Okay, here we go to Ohana. It's been probably four years since I've been here. So I'm really excited to be back in. Are you excited? You're always excited. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's see where we're gonna be. They used to take you by and kind of talk about stuff. <clears throat> see where they're gonna put us. All right. This is where they used to have all the stuff just open and out, but it's a little different now. Different before they used to take like the skewers around and kind of hold them out for you. It's a different setup now. I think they kind of bring it family style. All right, here we are. We got a fantastic table. So the previous time that I dined here, we were um, like back, you know, deep back, way back here. And so this is fantastic to be out here. I'm so excited. Beautiful. A great view of the kids going on the slide. I love it. Here is our salad. This is our um, mixed green salad with citrus vinaigrette. And then we have our signature Ohana bread with honey butter. And I can't wait to dig in. Looks great. Oh, and here's the drink menu, of course. We had to check that out. And that's a little hard to see. But we'll... Here we have the pork dumplings tossed in garlic chili sauce. We have the honey coriander chicken wings and we've got the Ohana noodles and the roasted broccolini. This is looking good. This is the puka punch. Oh, I wondered if yeah. what it was and what's in it? Um, deliciousness. The real McCoy, five year rum, the Cardi Superior rum, John D. Taylor's Velvet, Salernum, Tropical Juices, Passion Fruit, Bitters, and it contains bitters. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Well, you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay, here, I'll take a sip. Yeah, take a quick sip. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Murray rum and hog juice. Tell me what you think of the puka punch. Yeah, it's tasty. It feels really like fresh. Yes, yeah, very fresh. It? Really fresh yeah. feeling and like super tropical. But yes. it doesn't have like that spiciness like some of the drinks have like down no. in the Sands. Yeah, it's not like a spicy rum drink. No, no, I like it. That's how you know she it's likes good. it. She took it's two good. drinks of my drink. Yeah, I like it. How dare you? <laughs> it's mine. I like it. So for our little one here, um, they do have chicken nuggets. Um, so that was really good to have the option of chicken nuggets and fries because we have a very picky eater in our party and it's really nice to know that we're not spending a uh, full, you know, price for him, kids price, and then having him eat zero, which was definitely has happened before. Hello, good afternoon and welcome here to Ohana's. My name is Galeti and I come from the answer of someone we are delighted. Hello. We're celebrating lots of things. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you've had some of the um, chicken wings. How do you feel about those? Very tasty, very tasty. Are they spicy at all? No, not spicy really. Okay. Well, so far I've had the noodles and I've had the um, the gyoza. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, pot stickers. And I have to say, the noodles and gyoza are very good. I really enjoy these. I'm just trying to save room for the shrimp and the beef. So. Okay. Here is the peeling. Spicy peel and eat shrimp. So everyone say and we've got holy. the wood fire grilled teriyaki holy. beef. And we will have Love grilled chicken love. on the way. So, oh, that That's is nice and hot. Food. And we're yeah. going to dig right in. I cannot wait to try these. These look great. 
All right, off we go. Here is the grilled chicken with Polynesian inspired chimichurri sauce. And yeah, can't wait to dig in and we'll we'll come back and let you know what we think. Okay, so checking in. Now I've tried everything on the menu here. For me, the spicy peel and eat shrimp, which were not spicy at all, are my favorite. I like the peel and eat shrimp. Thought the wood fire grilled teriyaki beef was good. It wasn't, I remember it being better than that, but it was still good. Like I enjoyed it. And then um, the honey coriander chicken wings are, are quite good. I enjoy that. Um, the flavor on the um, grilled chicken with chimichurri. I like the flavor a lot, but the way that the chicken's cut up is like a little bit funny, a little bit unrecognizable, but the flavor is nice. So um, it really like kind of pretty charred, but anyway, noodles are great. Um, I mean, it's all good. I think there's, you're gonna find something you like. It's really quite good. And we still have dessert coming. So there's still a lot to eat and I'm gonna go see if I can go destroy some more shrimp and beef. So let's do it. Coconut pineapple bright pudding. Okay. With caramel on top. Just like oh, look at that. Oh, Ooh, yeah. that's some skill. Woo! Oh. All right. Well, let's dig right in. All right, I'm gonna try this bread pudding and I am not really a fan of things in the bread pudding. So this is me trying something that I'm probably not too, too fond of, but I'm just, Maybe I'll love it. I'm gonna try something new. Here we go. Okay. If bread pudding is your thing, I'm sure you'll love it. It's not my thing, but it, I feel like everything in it is very nice ingredients. It's all really, really nice. It's well done. It's just. I'm personally not a big fan of it, but I think if you like bread pudding, I think you're going to be very, very happy with it. Do you have some thoughts about the uh, bread yes. pudding here? The yes. bread pudding. Uh, what do you think? It's delicious, and it's you know it's got like some pineapple and it's got some all this delicious stuff. And for me, it, it kind of like reminds me of my grandparents. Uh, my grandmother used to make bread pudding, and so for me, I, I kind of feel like the uh, food critic in Ratatouille, oh, where he's like transported back. Anton Ego. <laughs> yeah, to, to like when he was a child. So that's what it does pudding for you. In, in that well, story. you must not be the only one because yeah, people love pretty, it. People love the bread pudding. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tasty. So. Great, I'm glad you like it. Oh, like it. oh, we got fireworks. Oh my gosh, here we go, look. Okay, so um, it was 59 per adult and it was 38 per child. And um, we got a pretty good amount of food. I really love the live music. He's still going back here behind me. And um, love, love the singer. He plays ukulele as well. And for me, the live music is like really a highlight. That really adds to the value of the experience. And the, the sun is setting and it's turning into a really beautiful evening here. So I'm really excited. Um, I love the atmosphere of it and it's like we've got all the holiday decorations. It's really, really pretty. So it just felt really great to be back at Ohana. I'm, I'm really happy that we were able to dine here again. So we finished up our meal at Ohana. Yes. I would Yum. say it was good. I would go back, but it wasn't yeah. like, oh my gosh, I'm dying to go yeah. back. Like it's not like... It's not like if somebody says, hey, you want to go to Ohana with me? I'd be like, yes, but I would not go wildly out of my way to go back. So anyway, I would say like definitely thumbs up, but yeah. not like crazy back flipping thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd go to Yachtsman over Ohana. I think, yeah, but point. atmosphere you can't atmosphere, beat. Though, atmosphere, though, is great. great. I mean, you can't beat that view. And eating those delicious shrimp with that view. Really good. Yeah. So it's good. Well, we're going to say goodnight.